I mean, I'm using tanks here. We're not exactly the best for holding these positions. Are you saying that you've lost all of your divisions or something? I mean, you have actually lost about 100 divisions. How? Lack of equipment? Probably. Well, I'm trying to send you some new stuff, so there is that. We're having a good amount of medium tanks here. So I could probably extend... Oh, I've already got five. I mean, five is kind of the optimal. And a 40 combat width. There's the rocket artillery. Which we will need to start producing, so I think I can reduce the number of medium tanks I'm making now. And start going for some rocket artillery. Let's go for... One line should actually be enough. I mean, we'll need to get a bunch to equip the armies that we have in the field, but after that we should be fine. And then we can go for the 1941 rocket artillery upgrade, which will then allow us to get the motorized rocket artillery, which we probably actually want instead of the um, medium tank SPGs. Let's kick you across the river again. And you're attacking me into Warsaw now, as kind of anticipated. You have pushed them back to the forest. I mean, this is the easiest place to hold them. That's not a river. Forests give you some pretty hefty defensive bonuses. Oh, they've made it across the river again. I can't believe you're not guarding Warsaw. Why would you not guard Warsaw? It's, it's kind of your thing. It's the one that matters. Ooh. Really, they would beat us here. That's in the open. There we go, now you're guarding Warsaw. I'm surprised. Oh, it's because these guys haven't joined the fight yet. That's what signaling does. Uh-oh, they're really coming across over here. Sixty combo. Why is that low? That should be 80, shouldn't it? Oh, I see why we're losing. We were up against the man himself, Wrangle. Yeah, no wonder he's kind of schooling us. Aha, tricked you. Fresh divisions, two of you. <laughs> they have five. Surely they're having some... Well, wait. This division can pierce two of two enemy armoured divisions. That's not good. I thought my tanks were actually fairly well armoured. Uh, huh. What medium tanks am I even using? I'm still using the 39 ones. Oh, no sodding wonder. Whoops. Kind of fell behind in that one. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade our tanks. I didn't realise I was quite that far behind. Whoopsie. Why aren't I guarding Warsaw? Warsaw can guard itself. Warsaw can guard itself when you have American tanks in it, yeah. Um, right, so what else can I do? Is there actually anything that we are really short on? Rocket artillery. Let's build more rocket artillery. I think that sounds like a good idea. Also, the other thing I do need to research is motorized rocket artillery. There is that. Reclaiming the Pacific. Good. Uh, so now we can go for Reclaim New England. Canada attacked New England and has kept it under occupation ever since. That is not what New England should be doing. New England was where American Revolution began. When the first patriotic Americans fought the British. When the Minutemen and the Redcoats clashed, we must help remind our brothers and sisters in New England of this and liberate them. Poland's not yet lost, but it's getting kind of difficult. <laughs> the Pacific's question. The American Union state 
has been victorious in the war and now is forced to deal with the PSA. The Pacific states were rich in resources and the government was unfriendly to the AUS. So removing that threat was an option, but some less radical elements believe that the AUS had been at war enough and that a future war would be would put an unnecessary strain on the delicate hold the government had. We'll end this. Alright, that's bailed us out of Poland too. <laughs> um, so. Fiddler's Reach. You have your orders. See to it. They are done. And also... Air Forces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should be there. And then we can fly out into the southwest, which is kind of where I'm expecting the most difficulty to be early on. Also, what I should do is upgrade the number of planes I actually have in these armies. So you are fighters. You should be in wings of 200. That's my... My standard, and then you guys should be in wings of 50, honestly. Which is also the standard for tactical bombers or close air support. Which is what you guys are doing. This should be a relatively quick war, though. I'm not really expecting the PSA to actually put in up any fight here. They don't have that many divisions. They have a lot of factories, but no manpower. They are completely out of manpower. Oh, that sucks to be them. Plus, I do have, like, um, Lionhearted down here who I could send up to assist, but I think Fiddlers has basically got this. This is Patton, after all. With his heavy tank divisions. Although, a bunch of them aren't actually heavy tanks yet. But definitely could be. Alright, Construction 5. I really want to go for more of the industrial stuff, but I'm just so... Annoyed that I'm behind the times with the medium tanks, so we're going to go ahead and research you. Although, is there another medium tank producer we need? No, we need this one, which means our mechanized stronger, but no more tank stuff. In before the PSA randomly joins the Co Prosperity Sphere. The Atlanta Conference, the war between the AUS and the PSA, has torn the country apart and it was still raging. It's been going for like a week. Long, in an attempt to end the conflict, send a request for a conference to, be to begin negotiations to bring the war to an end. The AOS cabinet was wary of this approach, as the resources of California were in great need. But an end to the conflict would relieve pressure on the AOS. Uh, no, I'm not going to negotiate. We're winning. Why would we negotiate? They're still using militia forces? Oh dear. PSA, PSA, PSA. You've had like four years to recover. Uh, volunteer forces have returned home. Good. So we can grab you guys. We can say you join them. You guys are here in position to blitz down New England. Although... You guys, just go there and train up for a second. Igel, you're still holding that. Lionhearted, I am going to suggest that we start to fortify our borders up here. Zach Barnett, thank you again. Cheering, appreciate that. And you apparently unlock gifts for four others. Cheer 250 to unlock gifts for others. Is that a Christmas thing? I assume that's a Christmas thing. Cool. Right. Um, so I thought that this whole border thing was to fix the fact that lakes get in the way. It hasn't done that. <laughs> uh, so let's split half of you off and have you fortify in that bit. And then this is just left open. Or is that count as that lake? Well, clearly that's an error of some kind. So we'll just say, take that. You guys, take. Ooh. Craziness. That. That'll do. Now, I'm aware that I need to leave some troops in Detroit. I'm kind of hoping that we take out the PSA by then. If not, we can race our tanks across uh, Michigan. And we should get there in time. Right, did you guys join anyone? Nope. 
The fall of Warsaw. As soon as we left. As soon as we left. Sir, the AUS has taken over Montana. What should we do? Start negotiations. Over the loss of Montana? Yes. Because no one wants California. There's one lake by the Canadian border they've forgotten. Ah. Well, I think I found that lake. You guys trained? Yes. Join the uh, New England Liberation Front. Right, Lionheart is moving away from Mexico. So hopefully Mexico doesn't try and do a, a very, very annoying backstabby thing here. Which they totally will. Uh, in the meantime, I think... I'm actually fairly happy with all the production that's going on there. We could get some more heavy tanks. But honestly, that's been going at a fairly decent pace. I think I'm just going to double down on the mechanized because I'm trying to get more of these mechanized forces out. The other thing which I do need to double check is whether the generals count as uh, thingy companies, which I don't think you do. It doesn't say that you're a company, so no, I don't think you do. Although the names are in gold. Like when the names are white, like division attack, I know that's just a blanket bonus that does not matter when the company is made. The company, the colours that come up in gold though, which you can see here, by selecting this design company, and design company specifically is in gold, I'm wondering if these do actually count as design companies for those bonuses. I don't know. Liberia lost. Right, because it's going to be the French Republic and the German government in exile here in Africa. Ah, of course. So we have fire brigades. We can go for a backhand blow. Move towards finishing our doctrine, which I think we should probably do. Ooh, they actually pushed back. I think this is more of a problem my army's not moving quite quickly enough. Although what I could do is use my Blitzkriegers to come around the top. I kind of like that idea. Let's use the Blitzkrieg guys to blitz down towards California over the top where the Rockies are the thinnest. We do. It does mean leaving New England open for the moment. Um, kind of annoying because I know how many troops they have, but so it goes. So hopefully we get there in time. Although what I could do, split out half of you. And just for the moment, ju just while we're trying to hold on to this, hold on to that. And take that, and then half of you as well. There. This is a more important front than this. Engineering company, done. Good. So now I should, if I can remember where it is, be able to get that. There it is. Motorized rocket artillery variant. That is what I want. Because I think it should have more damage than, in fact, can I check that? I have you up and then move to tanks? No. So your breakthrough is 12, your soft attack is 50. And it's probably up against you. Your breakthrough is 4, your soft attack is 84. So the mobile artillery will have much better breakthrough, but less soft attack, actually. It's kind of interesting. And you'll also have the armor and the hardness. Hmm... Although there could well be more rocket artillery to a battalion than there are SPGs. I'm not sure. Fascinating to see the difference between your AOS game to mine and yours. Mexico to Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Mexico has not tried anything. I am really quite surprised. So 
Sometimes irony is real. First the Germans fight the French in World War One, then send them into exile in Africa. Then the French fight the Germans and send them into exile in Africa. Then the Germans work with the French that they originally exiled in Africa to take out Liberia. Yeah. Yeah, Poland's lost Warsaw, but I don't think they're out yet. Oh, that's not looking good, though. That's really not looking good. Portugal's going to fall soon. Who's the major power left in the... Oh, it's going to be Britain, isn't it? Britain and Canada. Uh, which war is that? That's the Russia-Germany one. It's this one. The Franco-Italian War. Germany's almost gone. Flanders is gone. French Republic's not even started. They have Africa. Of course they do. German government in exile might well be capitulated if they lose Denmark. But they have taken Sicily. I think that's Canadian. Uh, they've lost 900k, they've lost 1.2 million. And this is after like several wars of their own. Like They're going to be hurting by this point. Alright, Reds, are you good to go? You are good to go. Show me what you can do. Go on, Trodling. Now's your chance. You have your tanks. Do it! Charge! Your orders are clear. Punch through the top. Come down, take California. Grab their big cities. Before these guys can respond. Because Fiddler's Reach has slowed down completely. In fact, he's not looking very positive about actually winning this fight. Because he's just slowly but surely working his way across mountains with heavy tanks and no mountaineers. Uh, we have plenty of medium tanks still. We also have plenty of mechanized. I wonder if I can start adding rocket artillery to the armor divisions yet. Yes, I can. That's going to be a bunch more breakthrough, and more importantly, a bunch more soft attack. So how much does this bit stuff help streamers? Uh, quite significantly. I mean, donations, direct donations might be better, like, as a direct way of supporting us, but they're, they're, they're good. And if you're getting the bits from special offers and deals and things, then sure. Even better. I mean, that's kind of the thing. Twitch is good, but third parties are usually slightly better. So if you're doing a donation versus bits, the donation's better. If you're doing Patreon versus Twitch subscription, Patreon's better. Uh, though that's only because I'm an affiliate. The levels might well increase if, if and when I become a partner. Ah, medium tank twos. Marvellous. So here's the question. Do I want to go for medium tank threes? I don't think there's any reason for me not to. Unless... Unless... Nope. That, that one's fine. That adds the extra max speed and breakthrough for tanks and armor variants. Variants. You can only get a variant once you've already researched it, which would kind of counter the fact that that's a design company. I don't think it is. Because it doesn't say specifically it's a design company. So I've already got the tank design company, so we're, we're going to risk it. We are going to research tank 3s. It is 43. We can do it. Uh, furthermore, we're going to upgrade to tank 2s. I don't think I want to invest in a variant for these guys. Although, upping their armor would be very nice. Nah. We'll do that. And then I think I'm going to add... A bunch more production, two tanks, so that we can phase out the old guys and bring in the new. Are we able to upgrade the old ones? So if we go back to the medium tank production, can I create that as a variant? No, it doesn't have the button for it. That thing. Oh, bloody hell, Zach Barnett. Thank you so much for your support. That is really, really massively appreciated. Merry Christmas, Mr. Viking. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you.
Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Really does help out. Right, anyway, um, let's go fight some stuff. <laughs> Rocket artillery upgrade. Good. So, this increases their soft attack, which is magnificent. Let's go ahead and upgrade that some more. There are quite a few upgrades. Plus, if we get the rocket upgrades, that's going to be even more soft attack upgrades. So, actually, with all the upgrades, they might well outclass the SPGs in terms of soft attack. I kind of assume they will, because when I was checking, that was without any upgrades. And, in fact, hang on. I was not checking that properly because there is a tier 2 which does increase the motorized uh, rocket soft attack by 30% as well so that's 30 45 60 plus these 5 10 15 so that's going to be 75% more soft attack than there is already Which, when we compare you, is just under 100. So it's, what, 80, 90, something like that, ballparking here, versus the SPG, soft attack of 84. So they're going to be roughly the same, but the other one has a way more breakthrough. This has more armor, but I don't really care about the armor because my... Tank divisions are going to be providing a lot of armor. Plus, we're going to have a ridiculous amount of hardness because of all the mechanized. So, yeah, rocket artillery is definitely the better option here. You have broken through. You have done your job. Let's go and make them pay for that fact. And let's also go and wind you back a bit. By Fiddler's Reach, you can kind of scramble to try and fit in the, fill in the gaps if you can. Uh, I mean, you are pushing actually pretty hard down here. I was going to say, I don't know why you felt like you were losing so hard. I wouldn't really say that you were. And then suddenly, boom, full green. Oh yeah, we have eight tanks on the way now. <laughs> GG. We're through. My very cunning plan to just blitz through the back has worked. National focus bypassed. Reclaim New England. So we don't get the fate of Hawaii. Has that fallen to Japan or something? It has. Transumer has it. Next will be Alaska. Which is definitely going to be rattling a couple of sabers when it comes to the Canadians. So I think I'm going to hold off for a moment. And we're going to go and probably finish these. Or at least improve what we have down here. So let's go and expand the Minutemen. That will give us daily political power cost reduction, which will be nice. And that's also a cost reduction, and that's daily political power gain. So all three of these will allow us to get a lot more companies in the field. The treachery of Peli and the extremists was shown at the Minutemen need to be expanded, both in manpower, but also their powers. While some may protest, this is the best interest of all Americans. The people and long shall be protected from every barbarous attack that can be launched against them. Some civil liberties will be sacrificed, but it's necessary for the safe of all. Something, something, something. Oh no, it's just Americans. I'm pretty sure that says Americans. Americans. Take Seattle, take Google. The Google will be ours. The issue of New England. The independence of the state of New England has been a contentious issue for the government of the AUS. The reintegration of the state back into the American Union has been made the highest priority, and it was unlikely that the government would be deterred by any possible war with the Entente. The stakes were high for the American Union state, so we can demand their return. And they, and we gain cause on all those lands, or we don't risk it. No, I want the cause. We're going to demand its return. Like the Entente is not in any position to fight us right now. Let's be honest. Although they could potentially cut us off up here while we're doing this charge. Uh, so once you have successfully done that, I want you to go ahead and blitz down towards this area. And then after that, blitz to LA. And that honestly will be enough to capitulate them. 
So you need to do that. So once you've completed, oh no, wrong way. Uh, let's just organize that again. So we're going to say, do that just so I can keep an eye on you. You, we're not the one I was looking at, but fine. There, that'll do. Then you, from here, go from that line, and then you, from that line. And then all of you, assigned to that line, go. You have your orders. See to it that they are carried out. And I've got all of my areas defended except for Michigan. But we should be able to take the uh, Pacific States out easy enough. Although they may well try and join the Entente. Which will be annoying. New England accepts our demands! New England has surrendered to our demands and they've been reintegrated into the American Union. Excellent. Well, that helps. I <laughs> uh, wasn't really expecting it, but awesome. So we're going to grab the purples that are down here. And we're just going to go ahead and fortify against Canada. Not quite what I had in mind. You go from there. There you go. Like so. Cool! So not only did we get the extra cores over here, we got some more industry, undoubtedly, and also some more manpower, which is awesome. Wow, we are producing a lot of stuff at once. Like, this is really when our massive civilian industry just like comes roaring out and starts laughing in the faces of our enemies. <laughs> take Seattle, take Google. And Starbucks! I'm not a fan of coffee. If, if, if Starbucks did good tea, then fine. But their tea is middling at best. Right, we have more industrial, military industry available. Um, we've already equipped all of our units with rocket artillery. No, we haven't. Um, these guys need it too. And there are a lot of those guys. We could actually try and get you up to 40 combat width too. Um, so if we did that, how many do we need? We need 800. Okay. And in fact, you guys are doing a really good job of just reaching around behind them. So let's go ahead and reduce your combat line to that. And then, honestly, you guys just need to take this city. You go and support. You go and support. Seattle has been captured. We do not steal from other Americans. I don't want to lose the factories there either. I'm pretty confident we can hold it. We don't really need the uh, the weapons. Okay. Next up, we have even more factories. Um, planes. Probably need more planes. Also, we could start producing the uh, strategic bombers that we researched. And more rubber. We have a surplus, but we'll overcome that soon enough. Where are you going? Let's go that way. You guys are actually losing that fight. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, bad. Win it. Win it. So the longer this line gets, the more and more stretched out the PSA are going to be. And then my sheer weight of numbers will win. I wonder if I steal their fleet when I beat them. If that's going to be part of the... Uh, if there's going to be an event or something saying, Hey, you have seized there. Well, it's probably not, because they'll just capitulate, won't they? 